Hello to oh my goodness, there are nine people watching. That is quite correct. 1524, oh my goodness, the numbers are jumping up. Well, hello, my name is Lara McDonald and I play Holly Short in Disney's now released newest film, Artemis Fowl, which is streaming exclusively on Disney Plus and Hotstar for those of you who do not have Disney Plus. Hello, welcome to the very first live after Artemis Fowl has been released. This is madness. Can I personally cannot believe that Artemis Fowl is now out for everyone in the world to see and I'm not sure if any of you can believe it either. So I hope you have, most of you have watched the film and I've received so many lovely messages so thank you all so very much. It's so lovely to hear that so many people are enjoying the film as much as we enjoyed making it because we absolutely love making it. We had the most fun. So thank you so much to everyone who's watched it and who sent lovely messages to not only me but to Ferdia, to the Artemis Fowl account in general, to any of the cast members. Thank you for your lovely messages. We love it. Um, so hello, I'm going to be doing a live today and I have something very special for you. So for those of you who do not know, I have done two of, this is my third live, so welcome. Um, and so I've done two of these before and both of the times I've done Q&As. So I'm going to be doing another Q&A today and um, I have some very special guests coming in later. So as of right now, it is currently 33 minutes past eight. So until a quarter past eight, you, are free, you have me, you are free to ask me any questions you want and then we can talk about whatever. I'm so excited to talk more about the film. That is what I am most excited about. Um, but I'm very excited to answer all of your questions. And then at a quarter to nine tomorrow, Mara Smart, who plays Juliet Butler, will be joining us and I will be asking her some questions of my own. Um, and a lot of the questions that I had already prepared were the questions that you guys wanted to know, so do not worry. And I also have loads of your questions. So if you asked a question on my story, I have loads on my phone here. So, and then at nine o'clock, Ferdy Shaw, who plays the Artemis Fowl will be joining us where I will also be interviewing him and also asking him your questions. So keep the questions coming in, keep the comments coming in because I love seeing it and I love seeing all the hearts rising. So thank you all so much for tuning in. So I'm going to, I have loads of questions here that were already asked and keep firing questions and I will look up and I will see what questions you guys are asking me. Okay, so how was your premiere? So basically, unfortunately, because of the current situation throughout the world, I was unable to, we were all unable to go to a film premiere for Artemis. Artemis, it will not be in cinemas, which is really, really sad and disappointing. But at the same time, we are all so happy you guys are getting to watch it. And the most important thing is that everybody is safe while they're watching it, which is all we want in the world, that you're able to enjoy it and be safe it's a win-win. So my, I'm very lucky my family did the sweetest thing for me yesterday. We had our very own DIY homemade premiere and I got all dressed up. I did my makeup, I did my hair and my family all got dressed up and we all sat in the sitting room and watched it together and we made a very big deal out of it. So that was lovely. So thank you. It was very, it was amazing. Thank you for asking. Um, what was your favorite part about filming? That's a very good question. Sorry, I should read out who these are from. So the first question was from Chiara Venn and then the second question is from Amy Platt. And um, so my favorite part of filming was definitely the amazing cast and crew. I mean, I got to work with the most amazing cast, like Judy Dench, Josh Gad, Colin Farrell, and the amazing crew, which included Kenneth Branagh as a director. So getting to work with such an amazing cast and crew that then became like my family, was a hundred percent my favorite part of filming. I made friends for life on that film, so definitely. Um, I'm going to look at some of the questions we're getting in here because I can see them popping up. Favorite book moment with Holly, and that's from Oh Yes, It's Mira, and she works at Artemis Fowl Confidential. Um, so my favorite book moment with Holly, I have so many. Holly has so many cool moments, which I definitely think I'll, she has so many cool mo moments in the movie, um, especially in the books as well, because there's eight fabulous books in which I get to have cool, what, which Holly gets to have cool moments in. I'm not really Holly, unfortunately. I wish, but I'm, I'm not. Um, my favorite book moment with Holly, Ooh, she punch, not a lot of people know, she actually does punch him in the first book. So reading that, I was like, ha ha, yes, justice. Um, but oh, she's so many amazing like 
cool moments like she's such like Owen Culver described her as like a maverick and she's rebellious and she's definitely a maverick and um, any moments where she's flying and any of her sarcastic comments they just oh they're the best Holly is so witty and she has the best sarcastic quip so definitely anytime she's you know one of my favorite my favorite quote of Holly's and she is loads but it's I'm the crazy girly captain remember that is my favorite quote of Holly's I just think it's perfect okay I'm going to go back to looking at my phone and my notes to see your lovely questions um Domango's shake sorry if I'm butchering the pronunciation what was your favorite scene of the movie very good question I my favorite scene I I I this sounds so this is such a bad answer but I loved every scene that I was in an Artemis uh, for a hundred different reasons whether it be I loved what lines I was saying I loved the pace of everything I have fond memories of filming that scene or I'm with an amazing cast when I'm filming that scene um yeah there are just so many amazing scenes I mean the one where I got to punch Ferdia sticks out that was a pretty that was a pretty swell scene if you ask me I was I was pretty chuffed with that not gonna lie and um, Ferdia wasn't so thrilled with it I'm sure he'll pretend he was but I mean I I really milked that punch I did it multiple times and um, Ella Connolly asks was it hard not being able to have a launch for the movie as planned because of lockdown it was a little bit disappointing but I think um with everything that was happening in the world it is so much more important that everybody stays safe and that is the top priority. And if people get to see the film while they stay safe, I mean, that is all that matters. That is a complete win-win. So it was a little bit disappointing because I wanted to be able to talk about the film at like a real life press junket and everything. But I'm very lucky in that we live in a great age of technology and um, I got to do a virtual press junket, which is also very, very cool. And, um, I got to watch the film with my family and I got to share it with all of you and that is at the end of the day what we wanted to accomplish for this film and we did so a bit disappointing but also just as exciting. Um, sorry I'm scrolling through your questions. What's your favourite movie? That's a very good question. I have a top three. I'm a huge film buff. I watch so many films. Way too much if you ask me. My top three favourite films. I have to give a top three. I couldn't pick a number one. My top three favourite films. I love classic films. So um, I would have to say Casablanca and Citizen Kane. And then to completely mix that up and um, Mrs. Doubtfire. I love Mrs. Doubtfire. It's one of my favourite films of all time. Robin Williams is just so beautifully hilarious and oh my goodness so incredibly talented. I've loved him for I don't even know how long and um, definitely Mrs. Doubtfire, Citizen Kane and Casablanca. So you've got Casablanca and Citizen Kane, two legendary movies and then I mean Mrs. Doubtfire is a legendary movie too just maybe not for the same reasons. Um, If you could fly anywhere, would it be in Haven, Haven City or above ground? That's a good question. You see, although Haven City is a, underground, I'm very curious to see what the rest of the world looks like. Because although we see like the metropolis in the film that is like where the LEP station is and like where a lot of like the main, like the main city part, I want to know like where does everybody live? Where are the houses? So I really would love to explore Haven City. Yeah, I'm going to have to say Haven City as opposed to above ground because once, hopefully, once everything is semi back to normal, you, we will be able to travel and see the rest of the world. But I mean, none of us will ever get to see Haven City, really, um, unfortunately. So I would have to say Haven City because I'm not going to pass up an opportunity to explore a fairy world. Um, doo -doo. Um, Colleen McGarren, I probably butchered that pronouncing, sorry. Colleen McGarren, um, was it scary working with the likes of famous actors like Josh Gad? It's not scary per se. It, I was really nervous meeting them in like the best way possible. I was just very like, I was just, I was buzzing. I just couldn't wait to meet them, let alone work with them. I've been huge fans of Kenneth Branagh, Judi Dench, Josh Gad, um, Colin Farrell I mean everybody in this movie is an absolute legend the cast is incredible so I was nervous to meet them and then when I did meet them I realized like how lovely they are and I couldn't wait to be with them more and that was definitely the case with Josh and Judy and um Ken because when I first met Ken I 
love the Harry Potter films. As many of you know, I adore the Harry Potter films. So I knew Kenneth Branagh as from playing Gildor Lockhart in the Chamber of Secrets. And I couldn't believe he was in front of me. And of course, he's directed these legendary movies and he's a legendary actor. So I couldn't believe that he was going to be directing me, of all people. Like this just this girl from Dublin, I couldn't believe he was going to be directing me. And then like I became more comfortable with him because I was seeing him every day and he was so incredibly lovely to me and he really made me at ease and comfortable. And it was the same with Judy and Josh. And um, when I first met Josh, I went bright red and lost the ability to speak. Um, which Ferdia can testify for because he was there and I just like was like <laughs> okay like could not speak at all no words nothing and then when I met Judy I cried and you just they're just it's so overwhelming meeting these absolute legends and people that you've looked up to for so long but then when you see them every day and they're so lovely to you and you realize how lovely they are you just you do become like a family and we became very relaxed and they always made sure to put me and Ferdia and Tamara and every all of us like young actors at ease and um, because I think everybody on set you're always going to be intimidated only a tiny bit by like Judy Dench like you, you're gonna be acting with Judy Dench like that's nerve-wracking but she always made sure to put you at ease and she was so funny and lovely that you were definitely so comfortable around her um, Tam is going to be joining in two minutes, so I'm going to finish up with a few questions. Um, Luca Tahini, excuse my pronunciation, how did it feel to put on the LEP suit for the first time? Uh, this is such a cliche answer, but I genuinely felt like I became Holly. I could not believe, it's just, it's a beautiful costume. It is so intricate and the details, like, Sammy Differ created such a beautiful costume um, for everybody. I mean, have you seen the scenes in Haven City where everybody's walking around? I mean, that's just a whole nother level is seeing all those costumes and the hair and makeup and everything. And I absolutely loved my costume. It is, I always pictured that as the LEP costume and the LEP like uniform. So getting to wear it, I mean, I definitely felt like I was stepping into Holly's shoes. I have one, I have time for one more quick question before I invite Tamara Smart in. Um, how did you get into acting? Um, I got into acting simply because my friends were doing it. It was a little thing after school, like right beside my school, they were doing an acting class and I wanted to be with my friends and that was genuinely it. I wanted to hang out with my friends and didn't even know what acting was. So I just, you know, went to this class and immediately I realised how much I adored drama and the performing arts and acting. I'd always been filled with like creativity and I loved using my imagination so acting was the perfect outlet for me and I just kept doing more classes and everything and putting loads and loads of work into it and making sure that I gave it 110%. And sure enough, soon I started going to auditions and I got a part in Love Rosie. I was in one scene, but it was my first ever film. And then I got a role in Matilda the Musical, which was incredible because I had grown up loving Matilda the Musical. Um, so it has just continued from there. But I would definitely say if you want to get into acting, which was a really big question that I think all three of us received was how do you get into acting if you want to pursue this? Go to drama classes, join film clubs, take a huge interest in it because you'll start to realize there's so many aspects of film that you either might prefer or enjoy, but if you're really focused on acting, you have to give 110%. And if auditions start to come up, go to open auditions, go to open calls, experience these experiences and when you go to auditions learn your lines give a hundred and ten percent because if you try your absolute hardest and your best then you can't do anything else if you don't get cast all you know is that well I tried my best and that's at the end of the day that's all you can ask for is that you try your best so if you wanted to get into acting join clubs join classes like take a real big interest in it because it is a lot of work but it is 100% worth it when you get that yes from an audition. I'm seeing the time and I'm going to try and find Tamara Smart if she's on here. Mm -hmm. Again I've never gone live with anyone before so this is I see her. Okay this is going to be really fun. I ha I'm really excited to see Tam personally. So I've just, I'm trying, I've never done this before. So. Hey! <laughs> hey. Oh, how are you, lovely? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, this is so weird, but I'm I very know. excited and I love it so much. We haven't spoken okay. in, we haven't actually seen each 
other. I know, Tom mm -hmm. and I have not seen each other in a very long time. I think, when did we, did, when was it at reshoots, I want to say? Reshoots, I think. Yeah, we have, Tom, Tamara and I have not seen each other for a year, which is wow. cool to think about, but I miss her very, very much. Um, I miss and, you too. And if for, for the, like, zero people that don't know, this is Tamara <laughs> Smart. She played Hello. Judy Butler in Artemis Fell. And I'm going to be asking Tamara a few questions and send in your questions and I will be giving them to her to annoy her very much so. <laughs> um, so thank you, Tamara, for doing this with me. It is okay, great. Thanks for inviting me. I'm so excited. No, I'm very excited. So I have to ask, did okay. you watch the film yesterday? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I did. I did a whole premiere. I spent the time with family. My mum actually bought a red carpet so we can oh take a load God. of pictures. Oh. So um, I'll probably post the pictures. <laughs> and yeah, it was super fun. Did you? What oh did you do? Yeah, we did. Uh, that is crazy. We did the exact same. My parents also bought me red carpet. This uh, <laughs> the, the market for red carpets must just be excelling at this point. I know, and, right? Yeah, we also had a little premiere, so it was really lovely. Um, yeah. Definitely a bit sad that we didn't get to all have our day together. But I know, I we'll know. Us, like, we'll all meet up together very soon when the world is back to normal. Yes, we will. I'm going to be asking you some questions, and if I'm annoying you, just tell me to stop. <laughs> So how did you get into acting? That was a question that a lot of people wanted to ask. Okay, so um, I've been a performer all of my life. I've danced since I was three years old and I've sort of been with a school. Um, and when I was nine, I got invited to do a bring a friend day to a theatre school. You just did it on Saturdays. You did about yeah. three hours where you did obviously singing, dancing and acting. Um, yeah. And I loved it and I went back and I've always sort of had this like, need to like perform in front of people okay. where it's just sort of been like my thing and I loved when people watch me dance or sing or you know um and so I loved it and a couple months later they um I had an opportunity to audition for an agency so I auditioned for it and I sort of just started by doing little things and then it just grew to break bigger oh. things and here we are <laughs> and now you're in a Disney film <laughs> <laughs> so it all so if anyone's wondering this worked we're both we're <laughs> Clearly works. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so just go to go to your classes, go to your yeah. clubs. Works, I promise. <laughs> and so, what you've played so many amazing roles. Like even you say you started off in little things, but you've done some incredible roles. You have been in the worst witch, which I'm sure so many people recognize you from. <laughs> I watched when I met you and loved. And um, like even as uh, at the time, fourteen year old girl, and I've definitely rewatched it many times since then. I <laughs> love incredible. Um, and you've done Juliet, you've done so many amazing roles. So what has your favourite role been and why? That's such a hard <laughs> one. I think that, I guess they've all been my favourite because obviously when you pick a role, it's a really special thing. Um, so I think I've all loved them for different reasons. But I think Juliet was especially special because it was my first movie role. And so, yeah, um, yeah that, was a, a, that was quite a big thing for me. So I, I guess of I have course. to say the most significant one right now has to be Juliet. Good answer, good answer. Okay, so yeah. if you could, so welcome, if you <laughs> act or if you could not perform, like as you say that you love to, if you couldn't do that for whatever reason, what would you want to do? Or would you have any clue whatsoever if you couldn't perform? I think I would love to definitely still work in the film industry. But if I couldn't do that, I think I would be an artist maybe of some sort. I talk about <laughs> I'm a very artsy person. Like I just, I, I believe you. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah but if I had to do something like academic, I think I'd want to be a doctor or something, or you know, work in pharmacies or something like that. Um, I yeah, I always, I always, when I was younger, I wanted to be a microbiologist, so I wanted to be able to, you know, um, mix, really <laughs> as I said, mix medicine and you know, cure cancer and all that. So yeah, I'd love to do that. As you do. How so do you, you do that, that, just, you know, that, every day? You know, in between roles, you'll yeah. hear, mm -hmm. you heard it here first, Tam will be yeah. throwing many diseases in between her acting roles. You heard it here first. <laughs> A miracle worker, you heard it here. Okay, so for those of the like three people on here who for some reason have not seen Artemis Fowl or read Artemis Fowl, um, could you just tell us a bit about your character, about Juliet? Yes, so um, Juliet is part of the Butler family who have served the um, fowls uh, for hundreds and hundreds of years. And Juliet sort of brought in for some backup against the fairies. And at first she doesn't really believe in magic, but then obviously the um, 
movie progresses and she it's kind of has to because she needs here quite quickly it's proven <laughs> yeah yeah everything happens very quickly when it comes in <laughs> um but yeah she's very um quick-witted she's very strong she's very level-headed um and she's a very experienced person for a 12 year old definitely I, I would have to agree she's she's quite an impressive individual is Julia yeah I yeah I think so. so what is your favorite thing about Julia and um, so and what was your favorite thing about Julia like as a character and then what was your favorite thing about getting to play her oh um he's here <laughs> okay so I've got to say the, the thing I love the most about Julia I think that she's empowering I think she's a young woman who is has been sort of um sort of been brought with a problem and she sort of just you know tackles it and she does something about it which I think that many kids that are age think they don't have a voice and they can't do things about things so I think she's a very inspiring character and my favorite thing about ugh, filming or sort of just playing Julia has to be like living out my stunt career you know just being able yeah. to do most of my i cannot play yeah. that done all my stunts I'm because so i'm not that good like... <laughs> but <laughs> i think being able to, do... she's able to do archery like this girl she can do it all <laughs> <laughs> you did um, stop at it like i mean in incredible so um you got to learn so many new skills so what was your favorite one to learn um, I have to say kendo because the scene that was my favorite scene I have to say one of my favorite stunt scenes to film because it was just it was really cool learning the sequence learning the new sequence um and yeah I think it was just kind of cool how this 12 year old like almost beats this huge six foot four oh massive man. hunk of a man I think it's just a hundred percent I mean I, I mean if anyone can do it it's tomorrow I fully I fully <laughs> so I mean none so better watch out <laughs> um, okay, so I have a question from Charlotte16507, and she asks, if you could be any other Artemis Fowl character except Juliet, who would you be and why? That's a hard one. I think I'd have to say probably Mulch, because he's just awesome. Like, he can yeah. tunnel everywhere. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. Um, and probably Holly. I feel like it's just <laughs> cool. Like, it's, it's being like an LEP officer, being able to come into the human world but also see the world underneath and fly around and fight and trolls and just you know overall be this really cool person who's just 84 years old but looks 14 you looks know? great <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely something i have to say was personally one of my favorite things like for all the books is like you see throughout the books julia and holly they have like loads yes. in common and like throughout the like near the end of the books the two of them are just like oh artemis and butler are so annoying like yeah. what are they <laughs> and they and her are just like this and that is yeah. one of my favorite relationships and the whole thing because they're so similar apart from being yeah. you know like, a fairy um, and yeah. apart from that twins um <laughs> um so what has been your favorite scene that you have seen in the film hmm. or if if not that you in the film what was your favorite scene to like film like at all okay so i feel like i have to answer this is a two-part question oh, so for it. But I'd say my favorite scene to see was probably the troll scenes because obviously they weren't, it wasn't there. So I think that was really cool. Sorry to everyone who didn't know. Trolls oh, I'm are... sorry. I'm sorry. Spoilers. <laughs> spoilers. Spoilers. Wasn't a real but... troll. <laughs> yeah, I think it just adds to the excitement, you know, you just oh. finally see something that, you know, was, wasn't there. Um, and I sort of love seeing your trip, like to Italy. I love the setting there. Because obviously I, I hadn't seen any of the scenes, so I loved that. Yeah. That was really cool. Um, my favorite scene to film has to be the troll scenes. I mean, that was like the huge segment. And yeah, I've got to say that was just the funnest scenes. Yeah. Absolutely mad, but it was loads of fun. It was loads of fun. So much fun. Um, okay, so now moving away from Artemis, unfortunately, because we're kind of closing on 15 minutes. So I just want to ask, how are you doing in lockdown? Because we haven't seen each other in a year and the world is a crazy place. So how are you doing? And like, what have you been up to to keep yourself busy while stuck in lockdown? Um, yeah, it's been good. Um, it's been pretty hard um, and quite weird. Obviously this happens really quickly and it's like weird stopping school and everything. But I've been good, I've been good. Um, 
yeah, so things to keep me busy. I've been doing a lot of school, a lot of school work. Um, I think that takes up most of my time <laughs> nowadays. But um, apart from that, I've been doing a lot of painting. I feel like I've restyled half my bedroom painting things. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, I feel like I'm doing a lot of drawing, a lot of artsy stuff. I feel like I've been doing a lot of art. I think I've been getting really messy and sort of just like experimenting with different kinds well, of that, art for fun. Cause so might as well. So yeah. And I, I used to be a really artsy person. I sort of like lost it when I started filming like new things and it sort of just stopped. So it's been fun kind of getting back into that. I've been reading a lot. I've been as a, what was the, what it was corn streaming. I have been corn streaming. <laughs> many, many things that's a new one okay that's a new yes one. yes i heard it the other day and i was like i love it it's my new favorite word it's, it's the word the of the day <laughs> it's this is the exclusive tom has come up with a new word yep. and everyone's going to use it next you heard if you're you heard it here first quarantine streaming so yeah i think we've all been doing a lot of that and like yeah. if you have like, I mean, now's the time to stream Artemis Fowl. Well. Like, that's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah, um, so watch it. Yeah, it. <laughs> you somehow haven't. Okay, so then how, how are you feeling about everything that's going on in the world? Because the world is, like, absolutely crazy at the moment. So how are you feeling about everything? I'm feeling... I'm feeling right now pretty empowered by what's going on. But when I found out about the death of George Floyd and obviously the stories of so many others, because it wasn't just him, but... um. I was really shocked and it, I was really hurt and devastated by, by it. Um, and I stand in solidarity with everyone who's doing something about it. And I think it's so, so important right now to be using as actors our platforms and using our voices and using everything around us, signing petitions, doing as much as we can as, as kids and as young adults um, to, to make change because this is super important right now so that it's it's not um it's not something that can happen again in the future 100 percent. yeah we definitely i think especially with everything that's going on in the world and um, the fact that we're in lockdown as well i mean yeah. if this is you use your platform use social media and use this time to educate yourself i mean i don't know when is so definitely make sure to do what Tam is saying. Tam is being amazing. She's using her social media platform. Sign petitions, do whatever you can, because like Tam says, we have to do something about this. So Tam, thank you so much for speaking to me. It was so thank lovely to see you. You. <laughs> you too. Yeah, we have to do, I was thinking we should do like a Zoom call with all the cast or something. Oh, we could, you know, rehash memories, have some fun, yeah. A hundred, a hundred percent. So you, so that's step. A reunion is in the works. A reunion, it's in order. It's in virtual, order. virtual. Yes, well, thank virtual, you so much, virtual. Thank you so much for chatting with me, Tam. And I hope thank you're doing you. okay. You're well. And I'm sending lots of love. And everyone, go and check Tam's account because she's doing some amazing things. She's so. <laughs> Cool projects coming up and of course she is Julia Butler and Artemis Fowl so make sure to check out her account tomorrow Valerie Smart. Thank you so much for joining me Tam. Thank you. Lots Bye, of love. Lovely. Bye. Bye. So everyone that is Tam and she is gone and I really hope you enjoyed um, my little my little attempt at an interview with her. Um, love her so much so Thank you all so much if you tune in to see Tam. I'm, I'm very excited to be announced that I'm going to be bringing Ferdia in now. I'm also going to be asking Ferdia your questions and some of my questions. So we shall get started once I, once I find Mr. Ferdia Shaw. Mm -hmm. I see him here. Okay, so I'm now waiting for Ferdia Shaw and he's being added in. And so we're going to say hello to Artemis Fall in a minute. So this should be very interesting. This is my second... And I have a Ferdia Yo. Shaw. <laughs> How's it going? So everyone, in case you somehow do not know for some berserk reason, this is Ferdia Shaw and he plays Artemis Fowl in Artemis Fowl. So, Ferdia, how are you? Good, 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 good. How are you? That's here. I'm very good, thank you for asking. It's always good to hear that you're good. So I have, I have a bunch of questions here um, that I really want personally. I'm dying to know. <laughs> um, so I'm going to ask you a couple questions and I have some fan questions here as well. And it will just be for 15 minutes. We'll just have a bit of a chat. So um, you play Artemis Fowl, which is an incredibly cool character to play. I f feel like definitely there are so many cool characters in Owen's book. But like, even though Artemis is incredibly irritating, everybody loves him. So yeah. what is your favourite characteristic about Artemis? Like... 
I um I really like Artemis. I, I like the way that you kind of follow him through the story. Um, you kind of follow him through his plan, and at the end, there's this big reveal of what he's been doing all along. Um, he's kind of like Sherlock Holmesy in that way. Um, so yeah, yeah, I, I really like that about him. Um, he, he's got some great lines in the book as well. So yeah. Oh yeah. Um, one of my favorite lines of Artemis is personally amongst his witty quips is I don't like lollipops. That was just. It's a total fan favorite. I mean, it's like literature at its finest, if you ask me. One of his best responses. So yeah. Artemis is a pretty cool character, but if you could play any other character in the books, who would you want to play and why? Hmm. Hmm. I, I think like Mulch. I don't know. Like, they're, they're, it's, yeah. yeah, he's a cool character. Definitely. Um, I think he's really funny in the film too. Um, yeah, I think Josh, Josh all just Josh. Such a <laughs> Him, That's so. all <laughs> yeah, like I couldn't imagine anyone else playing him. But I really uh, if I wanted to play a character, it would be much. <laughs> I I see it. You're the next. You're the well, you're the next Hell Josh. Yeah. Yeah, I totally yeah. see it. You're practically twins. <laughs> I mean, clearly. Okay, so what was your favorite scene to film, and why was it your favorite scene to film? Um, like I I was watching Tamara's, and I completely agree with her. Um, and I think everyone does. The troll scenes were just the best. I think they're um, fun. Like, like, yeah, we just had such great fun filming them. Um, I, I liked filming on the one wheel as well. That was really good fun. Um, just doing all the preparation for that, we used to just like take total time out of school just to like do PE. Oh. That, that was great fun. Um, was fantastic. And like yeah. props to you because whenever we go to stunt training, um, I'd go off and I'd be doing my training to do flying and Freddie would be doing his one wheel. And one day I remember I'd finished, I'd finished my training early and Freddie was on his one wheel and they said to me like, oh, do you want to go? And Freddie helped me on the one wheel. And I don't know how he does it. That is the most difficult thing I've ever tried to do in my entire life and I've flown. So like yeah. props because yeah. that's hard. Um, so what is your favorite behind the scenes memory? Cause we were there for like six months. So what was, what is your favorite behind the scenes memory? Um, like, you know, I, I think, well, basically like all the scenes with Josh, um, because you're just laughing all the way through them after retake, after retake, after retake, um, you, you'd be doing all that. Um, I really liked when this isn't a behind the scenes, um, but the ta the stunt team got a table tennis table at one point and uh, we used to make tournaments which was really, really cool. Um, <laughs> so I had really good fun doing that. Very yeah. seriously, as you can tell, with our table tennis tournaments. We Hell took... yeah. And then, of course, that was our school time. So, you know, we were really educated that year. Well, I mean, yeah. we did great. Our PE was off the charts that year, I'm just saying. I mean... Yeah, I came back and I was just straight in, you know? Everyone oh, was yeah. behind. <laughs> they were like, how did you do this? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Um, so um, what other, so I, we did an interview together and they, one of the questions we were asked was like, what's something that we don't, like, you don't think a lot of people know about each other? And I don't know if anybody else knows this, knows this, but you said you're interested in like loads of aspects of film, which I also yeah. remember when we were there. So what other aspects of film are you interested in? Are like, are there any favorites like cinematography or editing or anything? What are your passions of film? Yeah, I'm really into editing actually. I did a lot of that. Um... I, yeah, I, I, I'm really, really into editing. I do all different types though. I, I like to do animation as well. Um, so I do a lot of drawing. Um, I, I like to just do, I, I, I like to, I remember I, when I was younger, um, me and my friend, we made like a lightsaber video together. Um, and it was really long. So it took really to a long time because you had to attach the lightsaber to the sticks that we were using and then just take it all the way through. Um, so it's pretty boring. But it's just something that I like. Um, no, I, I like directing. Oh. Too. <laughs> I've seen some of said editing, and it is incredibly impressive. So, like, well, thank you. like Ferdia <laughs> learned the most. So, I mean, Disney not only loves Ferdia because he's Artemis, but also they'll be hiring him soon as an animator. So, the next Pixar film you see, <laughs> Ferdia did it. Happy days. So, I mean, you're doing great, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Disney. Um, so if you could take part in any project, what would it be? Whether it be, it be your ideal acting project, a role you would love to take on, or whether it would be editing or directing, or like, what would your dream project be? Um, I like, like, I, I think TV is actually at a really high standard at the moment. A hundred percent. 
So yeah, like I've I've been watching uh, Breaking Bad, uh, Peaky Blinders. They're all just so good at the moment. Um, so I'd I'd love to get into something like that, even like slightly more serious in a way. Um, I, I think that would be a really cool thing to do. I, I just think that it's at such a high standard at the moment that so it's a really good thing to get into. A hundred percent. I'm I'm sure I'm sure everyone is watching TV. If they're not if they're not watching film, they're watching TV. Yeah. Like you said, like there's so many amazing shows. And you know, you could be the next Colleen. I see the next Colleen Murphy, so like <laughs> a true peak blinders in our midst. <laughs> Um, so you're talking about like all these amazing TV shows that you're watching and I know that you're like a film buff like you know your films and you know your total TV. cinephile you 100% are like 100% so if you take anything away from this interview that I'm doing with Birdie at he is an expert when it comes to film and TV so I have to ask what are your favorite films um, my favorite film is The Godfather Part 2 um, it's excellent uh, like you know, it's it's kind of a tie between number one and two because they're they're just as good. Um, Marlon Brando is excellent in the first one, mm-hmm. um, and and I love just kind of the the flashbacks in the second one. I think that really adds a good element to it. Um, I'm a huge fan of Star Wars, especially the originals. Um, I love The Empire Strikes Back. I think that was a huge step up in film um, when they started. Uh, yeah, like th- those would be my favorites. And then there's like I love Blade Runner. I love I love loads of Harrison Ford movies actually. I, Indiana Jones like um well, uh, yeah. yeah just gonna I met Harrison Ford so you know that yeah, that's all I, I know <laughs> <laughs> I was so well, I jealous met, I met Harrison Ford because I was lucky enough to go to his premiere of Call of the Wild and I got a text from Brutia straight after the photograph went up and was like what <laughs> <laughs> have you seen Blade Runner actually I haven't I haven't I'm that's very one ashamed. to watch because it's unbelievable okay. Yeah. I have, Ferdy gave me so many good recommendations while we were filming. So I definitely, I educated myself. I watched Rick and Morty for Ferdy yeah. Shaw. Just saying. And season four is coming on Netflix very soon. So look what you've yeah. done to me. You've created a monster. <laughs> so well done. Yeah, yeah. So you are also, you talk about in your interviews when you say what your favorite room is um, in Foul Manor, which is incredible. You say that it's your Artemis's bedroom. And yep. one of one of the coolest thing about Artemis' bedroom, I think, not only like the cool Lego and everything, but all the books on the bookshelves are books that you love and have read. So you, so Freddie's done a lot of reading, if you can't tell, from like the library in Foul Manor and his bedroom in Foul Manor. Freddie likes to read. So what are some of your favorite books? Like what kind of books do you like to read? Well, um, my personal favorite, like up there with Artemis, um, is the Enemy book series. Um, it, it's it's unbelievable, and it's it's kind of it's not actually that well known. Um, like it's, yeah, it's, I haven't it's, heard of it. So this, yeah. is, this is something yeah, I should. So it's 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 really good. What it's like is it's uh, it's a zombie book series, um, and everyone over the age of sixteen in it turns into a zombie. Okay, so it's like a post-apocalyptic world, um, huh. but it's it's really good in the way that it's kind of games gamesy thrown gamesy thrownish um, <laughs> in the way that. Uh, <laughs> In the way that they kill off their main characters all the time, uh, so you're you're always kind of like rooting for the ones that you want to get through, but not all of them do, and that kind of adds a risk factor to it. Um, so yeah, I remember the last book coming out, and it's like watching the last season of a series. Oh, I love that. Okay, yeah. that's definitely checking out. Okay, so if you, my next question is, if you could bring any books to life, which ones would it be, and why? So would any be enemy be one of them, or are there any other books that you would love to? bring to life that you would love to act in or create um well to bring to life if if like into real life which <laughs> harry potter, uh, obviously um obviously. i think everyone wants to see harry potter in real I, life like <laughs> i mean um, it's so obvious <laughs> yeah i think the enemy would make a really good tv show though um, so that would that would be really cool yeah definitely okay it's- so you heard it. So when Ferdia is like the main character in this, you know, he, you know what he did. Um, and my next question was actually, if you could live in any fictional world, what would it be and why? And I'm going to take it as Harry Potter. Yeah. hundred yeah. percent. That's a. Totally. We all, we all knew. That's pretty easy. We all, I mean, if you didn't want to go live in Hogwarts, then I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> um, so then I have a lot, I have a lot of questions. You've got a lot of questions from many, many, many people. Um, one question that like a lot, a lot of people ask, and I can see them asking here, is how old you are. 
I know how old you are, but many, the people want to know, Ferdia. Um, I'm 16 this month. Okay. Um, so the 29th of June. So I'm nearly there. Marking um, in calendars, folks, Ferdia's birthday. <laughs> happy days. <laughs> so yeah, I couldn't get over how many times people ask that question. So you hear, you, you all know now, you all know, this is the gossip. Freddie is almost 60. Huge. I mean, hey, this is the big thing in this interview. Like, don't worry <laughs> about the other stuff. Just is there anything to take don't away? worry about my age. Is there anything to take away? <laughs> um, so I have one question that you got asked was from 2018 Feelings. And they asked, um, did you keep any props or the suit? I didn't keep the suit, but I did get to keep a one wheel, um, which was really, really cool. Um, because I did a lot of that on set and I got really used to it. So I, I used to take it um, for walks with my dog. Um, it, was, it was really cool for that. Um, I, I drove it into a gate recently. So it's actually awaiting repairs at the moment. Um, I took a really big chip <laughs> out of the front of it. Um, so <laughs> I, have to get, I have to get new um, boards. They, they're kind of slides that you put on. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get it done. You'll be grand. Sure, yeah. be grand. Grand. Um, so then another question that I got asked um, was, how did you find out that you had gotten the part of Artemis Fowl? Um, I found out early in the morning. It was a, it was a phone call. Um, yeah, like, amazing. Um, I, I came down. It, it was literally, i just gotten out of bed. And uh, I came down to the kitchen and got the phone call, like, as soon as I came down. Um, and react when you found out that was another question that a lot of people wanted to know i i like you know i think i think people can imagine how you would act if you found yeah. out that you're you've you've gotten a part in a disney film no. like, it's not uh, like on the yeah. shoulder <laughs> yeah um, I, you, you I got remember, mental really oh definitely but like i remember <laughs> when when i think you and i i'm not 100 percent, but i'm pretty sure you and i found out on the same day but yep. something that don't know is that when Ferdy found out he got Artemis and I found out I got Holly we neither of us were told who Artemis or Holly were going to be so we knew we'd gotten it but we had no idea who we were going to be with and I just remember <laughs> we, I had an idea that it was Ferdy and my mum and I were convinced that it was you and you and uh, you and your mum thought it was me and I remember Ferdy and I have each other and um, we have our each other's phone number and messaging each other and being like so, um, how are you? How's it going? <laughs> I'm pretty good. How are you? <laughs> but too, yeah, yeah, yeah. Any news? Yeah, a bit of news. Uh, how about you? Yeah, yeah, a bit of news. And that was, we never officially were like, oh my yeah. God, you got it. That we literally were like, I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Thanks, um, and how are you doing? So there's a little fun story for you. And unfortunately, guys, um, I'm actually going to ask you one more question. Um, because a lot of people have been asking this question. And that was like, how did you get into acting? And do you have any advice for people who also want to get into acting? Um, so the way I got into acting was I got involved with like a uh, little drama piece, Cinco Kenny, um, where I just, it, it was just small, but I was just doing like little roles. Um, I also took part in Young Irish Filmmakers, um, which is like an after schools project um, that I do. But it, it, it's, um, it's really creative because you get to do all the aspects of film. You write your own scripts, you direct them, you edit them. So that really got me into doing the filming part of it. And then just going for auditions. Um, I, I went to, I went, my first one was for Avatar 2, um, which I didn't get, I did shit. Like it was terrible. Um, I tried to put on an American accent and uh, it just didn't go well at all. But yeah, the, the second one was Artemis and I got it like, you know, so advice wise. So like, there you go. Like, you didn't think you did well yeah. when it came to auditioning for Avatar 2. And then your next audition, exactly. you're in it. Um, so I think that's definitely a message for anyone who wants to pursue acting. Just go for everything. Go for everything. And ne every time you get a no, it just means that the next yes will be more special. So never exactly. be disappointed. And that's something to learn from this. Well, Ferdia, thank you so very, very much for talking to me. Yeah, thank I you. Thank you for coming. And um, I should be talking to you soon. So thank you very much. And goodbye. 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 <laughs>
So everyone, that was Ferdia Shaw and um, I really hope you enjoyed this little interview. I've never interviewed anyone before, believe it or not, being, a, being my 16 year old self. That is not something I do on the regular where I interview people. But I had a lot of fun because I absolutely adore Tamara and Ferdia and um, we've known each other for a very long time. So it was so much fun to get to talk to them and I hope you loved um, hearing us talk about the film and different aspects of film and all everything that's going on. I hope you enjoyed it. So now I'm afraid you're stuck with me for about another 10 minutes. Just boring old me. So, so sorry. I can only apologise. But so if you have any questions, shoot them at me because I'm here all on my lonesome i've been abandoned by the two of them actually so no i haven't bless them and um, i they are so sweet for both coming on i asked them and they immediately said yes because we are so excited to talk to you guys about artemis because it was so much fun to do so getting to talk about it i think that's something that we were all really disappointed that we didn't get to do with the press junket was we didn't all get to sit in a room together and talk about all our fun memories so to get to do it on here and for all of you guys to get to hear how much fun we had. It is it is so lovely. So thank you all much for tuning in. So I have over a hundred questions filled up here, which is insane. Um, so a question that I've seen a lot on my comments and my posts as well is, um, did I cut my hair for the part or did I get anything done with my hair for the part? I did actually. Um, I used to have very long hair. If anyone's seen my photos from when I was in Matilda Musical, which I had the poster behind me, um, I had, long hair like the way I do now and then when it came to Artemis in the books um Holly is described as having a pixie cut so we definitely wanted to stay true to what Holly looked like and that's such an iconic part of her in all of the um graphic novels in every drawing or any take on her she always has a pixie cut so that was so important and I was offered if I didn't want to cut my hair that was fine they'd get a wig or something but I usually said I wanted to cut my hair because it would help me embody Holly and I really want to stay true to who she was so I chopped all of my hair off and you guys get to see the pixie cut that I did have I had it all throughout filming um, I had it all throughout filming and I had it for a very long time. It's taken me a long time to grow out. Um, but I loved it. I mean, easiest thing to wash ever. So if you're sick of like having long hair, get a pixie cut because I mean, it's hair, it will grow back. And it's so freeing and so cool to do. And I'm so happy that I get to say and get to show pictures and like, oh yeah, that's when I had a pixie cut. Cause it was so much fun to have. And it's so easy to manage to everyone who has long hair. Oh my goodness, it's, it's so amazing. <laughs> you don't have to worry about the wind getting in it or anything. I mean, it's just fantastic. Um, Holly Short is my favorite Artemis fairy. Thank you very much. Well, I'm saying thank you. I play her, but I mean like, Holly's my favorite character too, because I'm really biased. Um, did you watch Stranger Things? Yes, I have watched Stranger Things. I watched Stranger Things like the minute it came out, just because I was so excited to see it. Millie Bobby Brown is, phenomenal as is the rest of the cast and I cannot wait for season four which we will hopefully see very soon but I love Stranger Things it's fantastic and um, do you like Agatha Christie I do love Agatha Christie and um, I had I'd never read any Agatha Christie books unfortunately I'm really sad to say but I'd always loved and um, I'd always loved Sherlock Holmes and I'd love Scooby-Doo growing up I feel like anybody who loved Scooby-Doo will love will continue to love like murder mysteries so if you're looking for anything good to watch Sherlock is on Netflix and so is Miss Fisher's murder mysteries which is an amazing Australian and um, murder mystery show and then when it came to when I was auditioning for Artemis Fowl and um, Murder on the Orient Express which Kenneth Branagh directed and starred as Uki Poirot in it had just come out so I went to see it because I was so excited to go and watch it and immediately I fell in love with the film. I have the DVD, I've watched it a million times. And after that, I decided I was going to read every Hercule Poirot novel that there is. So I absolutely adore Agatha Christie. I have never read any Miss Marple stories, but I have always, I think I've read 90% of Hercule Poirot stories. And I'm so excited for Death on the Nile to come out, which is the new Kenneth Branagh Hercule Poirot film. And it has an amazing cast. For all of you who love sex education, Emma Mackey is the main character in it. If you love Wonder Woman, Gal Gadot is a main character in it. If you love Call Me By Your Name, Army Hammer is in Death on the Nile. I mean, the cast in this film is phenomenal. Russell Brand, Annette Benning, Jennifer Saunders. I mean, like the cast is phenomenal and of course Kenneth Branagh heading it all directing and starring Isaac Kuparo so that's definitely something that I would 
be looking out for, I have to say. Okay, I'm scrolling through your questions. See, everybody's freaking out now, but call me by your name. See, Army Hammer, keep a lookout. Um, what's your favorite Artemis Fowl book scene? That's a very good question. I have to say something that I really, I'm really sad about is that we, um, unfortunately, like the film has changed a lot since when we filmed it. And unfortunately, I one of my favorite characters is Foley. And I would, my favorite scenes in the book are of Holly and Foley. I mean, the banter and the friendship between them is fantastic. And the same going for when um, I was with Nikesh who played Foley. He was so incredibly lovely and we had the best time in all our scenes together because we got on so well. And Foley and Holly, I think, um, personally, I think Foley and Holly, they don't really have any friends outside of each other. So I think they're the first like real friends that each other have. So that's definitely, um, that's definitely something, all of my favorite scenes I'd say in the book are with Foley and Holly. Another one of my favorite scenes in the book though, is when Holly punches Artemis. Cause getting to film that was cool enough. So even reading about it, like just reliving the moment where I punched Freya, I mean, beautiful. <laughs> I re <laughs> Freddy is great really, I promise. <laughs> um, what's your favorite Marvel character? That's such a good question. My favorite Marvel character, I have so many. Um, my favorite Marvel movies of like all time, my favorite Marvel movie of all time, like is Guardians of the Galaxy. I love that movie so much. I love Chris Pratt. Um, I like the cast is amazing. It's hilarious. It's such a good movie. And um, I mean the soundtrack. I love eighties music. That is my fave. Like I love eighties music. So the soundtrack is amazing. But my favorite character and um, my second favorite. My second favorite like favorite Marvel movie is um. Oh, and of course, Baby Groot. I just saw a comment about Baby Groot. Baby Groot is my favorite thing in the whole world. <laughs> um, but my second favorite, <laughs> my second favorite um, Marvel film is Doctor Strange. I love, if I had to have any of the Marvel like powers, I would want to like be able to do the mystical arts. I think that's so cool. I love everything magic and everything like that. So 100%, I would want to have Doctor Strange's powers. But to answer your question, after a very long winded answer, my favorite favorite character would have to be black widow she is so cool i'm so excited for the black widow movie so definitely definitely black widow what about thor i love the thor movies especially the first one because sir kenneth branagh directed it and i mean i love the thor movies and the first one is my absolute favorite of all three of them they're all incredible but the first one first one's my favorite i just saw a question there it's a baby yoda or baby groot Baby Groot, a hundred percent. I love Star Wars, but Baby Groot, I mean, come on. He dances to Mr. Blue Sky. Like, see, like, co come on. I mean, we can't, can you argue with that? Like, sure, Baby Yoda's cute and all, but like, he dances. Come, come on, guys, come on. Um, so I have a few questions here and someone asked me, is this my first movie? Was Artemis Fowl my first movie? And some of you may not know, but it is not my first movie. It is my first big movie. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, I can't compete with that. I've never been in a Disney film before, believe it or not. Um, it is my first big movie, but it's not the first movie that I've ever done. I have actually done, this is my fourth movie that I've done. And um, the first film that I ever did was a film called Love, Rosie, which stars um, Lily Collins and Sam Claflin. It's based on the Cecilia Hearn book called Rain When Rainbows End. End. and it's such a lovely film um, it's a great rom-com if you're looking for something to watch I'm not sure if it's on Netflix or not anymore but it's a lovely film to watch and I played a young Rosie I am in one scene and I thought it was great and I immediately knew when I walked onto the set that this is what I wanted to do I loved the environment I love I absolutely adored it so I knew from that was when I was nine I was like this is what I want to do and the second film that I did was right after Matilda. It's a film called To Walk Invisible, which is about the Bronte sisters, who are some of the most famous female writers of all time. If you don't know who they are, they are so incredibly famous. They were sisters, they were all writers, and they actually all wrote their books under male names because they didn't think that while well, they were right, female books written by women wouldn't sell. So they all wrote their names under anagrams. And I played a young Anne Bronte. I actually had a blonde wig. I am obviously not blonde, but I wore a blonde wig. And that was the second film I ever did. The third film I ever did was um, called The Delinquent Season with Killian Murphy. I played his daughter, which was so cool. And he's so lovely. And at the time I was so young, I had never seen Peaky Blinders. And then a couple of years later, after I'd shot the film, I watched Peaky Blinders and could not believe that this incredibly nice guy who played my dad, who was so lovely to me, was, you know, 
a Peaky Blinder. So definitely, this is not my first film. It is my first big film. It is not my first film. Would you ever dye your hair blonde? I'm terrified to think of what that would look like. I, I don't even want to know. That's the stuff of nightmares is all I can say. I don't, I don't know what that would look like. Um, what's your age? I got that question quite a few times on my other answers, on my other, on my other questions as well. Sorry. I have the loss of the ability to speak. <laughs> um, I got that question a lot. I'm 16. I'm turning 17 in November, but as of right now, I'm 16 years old. So I have loads of questions here. So I'm going to go from here and I will keep looking up to see your questions. You look amazing, Blonde. No, I would not. We don't want to know. Um, what is your spirit animal? I have no idea. I've never really been good at like keeping track at all of that. But I personally think I would be an owl. Don't know why. That's just how I feel. Don't know if you agree or not, but I feel like I'm an owl. Like a really chatty, loud owl. <laughs> um, what was it like to go through stunt training it was so much fun I had never done any stunt training before so to get to do this on a Disney film and playing one of my favorite characters to get to do stunt training with an incredible stunt team was so much fun I had the most amazing time I got to learn so many new skills I got to learn kickboxing self-defense gymnastics and of course i'm now a certified wire artist which is crazy to think about but i learned how to fly which i feel like is everybody's dream at one point is to fly and i got the opportunity to do that so i absolutely loved it and i still see people asking i did have a stunt double her name is christina and she is one of my favorite people in the whole world i absolutely love her um, and I'm seeing, did you do all of your own stun stunts? I did a lot of my own stunts. I did not do all of them. I will not take credit for all of them simply because I'm not a trained stunt artist. Um, I did a lot of training, but I'm not a trained stunt artist. And at the time I was only 14. So there are some, some stunts that were just simply too dangerous for me to do. So my amazing stunt double Christina did them for me, which I'm very thankful for. But I was really lucky in that in, that in my training, I was actually trying to do the majority of my stunts so I did I would say about 90% of them I did a lot of them and they were so much fun to do and um, can Ferdy actually serve he can he's fantastic at it and um, in the film a lot of it is a lot of it is some of it is him and some of it is somebody else and um, but he took up surfing after he filmed those scenes and he's great at it like he Ferdia is multi-talented. He's an incredible individual and um, he's amazing. He's so, so talented. He would never say this, but I'm fangirling over him. He is so incredibly talented. So just in case for some reason you thought otherwise, Ferdia is incredible. Um, how is it flying? Oh my goodness. So much fun. I'm um, definitely, definitely one of my fate I have one minute left okay <laughs> send in your questions quickly <laughs> um so definitely it was amazing one of my favorite memories from flying actually was most of the time when I'd be flying I'd be flying inside a studio which is just as cool do not get me wrong but one of my favorite memories is there's a scene in the film and it's not really a big spoiler but there's a scene in the film where Holly lands at the hill of Tara and there's this beautiful oak tree and she lands and that is actually me and um, which was so much fun to film and that scene was actually filmed outside in a forest um, and I got to I was up 50 feet high and I got to glide in and land on this hill that they had built with a tree and that was so cool the wind was blowing in my hair and when I was sitting up there waiting for them to roll I could see all of the trees and the scenery around me and it was beautiful and that was such a surreal moment to be sitting up there above the entire cast and crew looking out at the film set and then getting to glide in feeling like as if I was actually flying with the wind blowing in my pixie <laughs> pixie hair and my ears that was definitely a very very surreal but cool moment um I'm looking through your questions. I have 40 seconds remaining. Okay, so send in, if you have any questions that I have not answered yet, send them in right now because they are 30 seconds. Um, okay. What are some of your favorite books? I love all types of books. That's a quick question that I'll answer when I'm waiting for more to come in. Um, I absolutely love, I'm a huge book reader. So I of course love Artemis Fowl. I love Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Percy Jackson. And then I also love classics like The Great Gatsby, 1984, um, The Goldfinch. I love, 
I'm a huge book reader and I love so many books. Okay, so I'm looking at my time, five seconds remaining. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Thank you all so much and goodbye.